called the Fold X. Yes, the Fold X. Weight capacity 275. Comes with the um, monitor, tells you how fast you're going. We'll get some close ups of that here in a minute. Um, has step assist, uh, pedal, pedal assist, assist, pedal assist, yeah. So and it has it really five levels assist. of it. Um, it also ha comes with the Shimo, Shimo, seven speed shifter. Shimano. 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 I hear that's good. It's like and mediocre. Well go pedals. Well go pedals. Which have been mentioned in other Kendra areas. tires. These are 20 inch fat tires. So this thing is suitable to drive on snow, sand, sleet, if you're able. Uh, I probably wouldn't do it ice, but gravel, absolutely. Um, and of course, paved concrete. Um, it can go up to 20 miles an hour. Um, there is a throttle over there, which we'll do some close ups on. Um, it is a fold bike. Um, the battery is stored inside the container here, which we'll show here in a minute. Um, and wow, what else to say? The seat is way more comfortable than the um, Swagtron, but I mean, it's it's meant to be bigger, right? Yeah. So it's bigger, more cushion. It's almost twice as twice as the weight um, of of the little e-bike that we have. Um, this is 56, 54 pounds, something. 50-something. Yeah, 55, so, 56. Not as easily lifted, but you can still Doable. lift it. Um, it does not come assembled. There are some things you, I mean, so it comes with the, uh, we'll throw the unboxing video up, but the um, back tires on, the back brake is set up, the front brake is set up, um, you have to put on the um, front tire, the seat, and the uh, steering column. Um, Pedals have to be assembled as well. Battery isn't charged, so you have to charge that. It also has um, gears right here. If you don't want to turn on the motor or the yeah, it works just like a normal bike. If you don't want to turn the it motor has, on, it has gears. So it's got seven. Yes. Seven, seven gears. So it's like your typical mountain bike. Um, pretty fun to ride, actually. The first time I've ever ridden a fat tire bike um, and it's it's a different experience from riding a regular road bike um, kind of make you feel like you're floating a bit as you're going across the ground yeah and there's definitely you know you hit the bumps you don't feel them nearly as much as yeah. much it's like a almost like a car with really good shocks yeah but there are no shocks on this um, um, again you'll have to probably inflate the tires they were a little underinflated. I think these are 20 psi recommended. Yeah. Um, Comes with the uh, I think the Fang motor. I guess this is pretty good. We don't. We're definitely not e-bike experts, but it. this is some fun hobby that we've gotten ourselves into. And um, kids, we got some small ones for the kids, and we decided to get some beefier ones for us. And so this price point is a little higher. It's it's 12.50 I think. Mm -hmm. um, from Saunders, it's a order direct so you order directly from Saunders they'll ship it to you um, boxing was was great um, and uh, put it together it took us about probably 20 minutes 20 30 minutes to put it together completely but Saunders also has an online community that you can join and I've, from watching other review videos we've heard it's pretty helpful so if you have any questions Saunders doesn't get back to you as quickly as you'd like. I'm sure someone else will probably let you know because they've been around for a while and there are plenty of people that have these bikes and can probably answer your questions. I'm sure you're not the only one that's had that particular situation happen. I think the um, Saunders company started on Indigo. It was one of the first Kickstarter based companies. Um, got a ton of people uh, getting the original Saunders, which is not, is not a folding bike. Um, but they do have, they have the Fold S, which is coming out, I guess. Which uh, the is a X, sport version. Yeah, sport version, which is a little bit more streamlined, not nearly as big in the middle. Um, yes, this is that is the only thing is the the width of this. Um, it you can your your thighs will hit it if you're not careful. I haven't hurt myself, but I definitely know it's there when I'm pedaling, um, and that's true even of 
skinny people with hardly any thigh. <laughs> yeah. I don't notice it, <laughs> but I'm a bit bow-legged, so. Um, we had uh, one of the kids riding it who is fairly slender, and they also notice. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's it's um, pretty fun to pretty fun to ride. I kind of can't wait to take it on the trails. There's some trails around here. Um, they're paved trails and dirt trails, and I think it'll be perfect on either one. Um, it does have a little there's a little cap right here that you peel off. It's helpful if you have fingernails. This is where you can turn the motor or the battery on and off. And then there's also a spot in here where you can plug it in to charge, so you don't have to take the battery out if you don't want to. And then it just pops right back in, kind of like the piggy banks you used to have as a kid that had the little rubber stopper in the bottom. I don't have any fingernails, so it's not exactly easy for me, but I do keep a screwdriver nearby. They, um, the seat and the, the handlebars are very adjustable. Um, when you're putting it together, I'd recommend putting handlebars at the highest. That way, when you're running your wire for this down through everything, um, you're not short changing yourself on the amount of wire you have just in case you know you actually need them that high then you're not messing around with it later um, it's got a magnet on either side of the wheels that when you fold it it helps it kind of stay together um, we can do a, a folding demonstration we just have to make sure the pedals are in the right position so here we're going to demonstrate folding it up you want to start with the handlebars, and this is my first attempt at doing this, so forgive me for looking like an idiot. Fold in your pedals. has a little flip up and then open. And if you put your knee into it, it's a little easier to separate it from what I've been told. It's got a little, I don't know if you can see it, it's got a little uh, stand that you can set it on. And then I think I need to put the kickstand up. And then it connects and it's folded and then to take the battery out you have a handy dandy little key put that in and it's got a handle comes out pretty easily it's got a little bit of heft to it I'd say it's probably at least 10 pounds it is currently on switch that off and then Saunders this is your on off button this is where you plug it in these are your connectors this is your little handle and then the keys of course put it back in slides in really easy lock it it's good to go You can walk this if you need to. Just kind of, although it's not staying together really easy for me. That way you don't have to carry it, it's not quite so awkward. Putting it back together, click that in over, push down, put your kickstand down. That is backwards. That is really backwards. How did I do that? There we go. Click that up. All right, so here's the tires. Can't really push on it because we have it inflated to the max 20 PSI, but they are four inches wide, 20 inch tires. Um, which makes her a really comfy ride. You can deflate them a bit if you want to go on stuff like gravel and snow and sand. Um, and that'll actually give you a lot more traction. And we're actually looking forward to trying it out in the, uh, in the winter, in the snow. Yeah. Um, also, 
you'll see these little little screws right here. There's one on each side there and one on each side of the tire. Um, these are for a bike rack basket thing that you can put on the back of it. Um, I believe we're probably going to look into getting that and when we do, if we do, we'll do another review on that. Yeah, Saunders I believe makes one so we'll probably end up picking up direct from the manufacturer. This is a seat. As you can see, it's got really nice cushion to it. It's got that indent that's also supposed to help with um, with uh, comfort. You can bring it up pretty far or put it down pretty low. I think this is the lowest it goes because it hits against this down here. Um, just be careful when you're I would recommend getting your seat height set before you put your uh, reflector on because if you're a little shorter and need it set down lower you might have your reflector too low but that's pretty easy to to handle and if I can figure this out so if you're tight trying to tighten it you need to grab this thumb screw thing here and hold it in place so that when you turn that you can get it tight and tighter. You want it to get about the point where it's right there and it's just gonna be, it might be a little too tight, so we're gonna back it off just a little bit. And then she can. Oh, did I do it too many times? Probably. You want it to just kinda snap in. Ugh, okay. That's better. There we go. <laughs> so that way you adjust and you can actually put your own seat it's a standard size hole so you can just put your seat, own seat in there if you don't like this seat for whatever reason so getting to the battery while it's in the bike again fingernails are a uh, flathead screwdriver and here is where you charge it currently the battery is off i don't know if you can see that it's just simple probably not so yeah there's a switch to turn it on and you can charge the battery in inside there too if you don't want to take it off yep and then put so, your... So you flipped it on? Yeah, okay. put your cork back in the hole. Now we're gonna tell you about the high attack handlebar stuff. Um, again, handlebars can be adjusted right here. They have different settings. So you can, that's the same with the seat. It's got the little push out and the thumb turn. Um, you can also rotate the handlebars too using this one. Yes, this thing that we have a foam mount in the way, but that will allow them to turn. It does not come with a foam mount. That's something that Stacy needs to have for pokey hunting. Yes, people still pokey hunt. All right, the screen. So the I button is to turn it on. This tells you this is the level that you're starting with the pedal assist. It can go down to zero, all the way up to five. Zero is no pedal assist. You're on your own. We usually have it at two. As you can see, we've already ridden at 17.2 miles. Um, it gives you your speed. Your battery display is up here. It's pretty simple. And you can change using the I button. You can switch it to show different different things. So there's a trip. There's a, a ride um, t number of minutes. If you have it set to that, it'll start counting up. Um, it, has, it shows you your odometer, which shows you how many miles we have on it so far. Um, it'll change you to your max speed for that session, average speed for that session, etc. So there's a lot of cool stuff that kind of go. You can also change it from miles per hour to kilometer, but we have not. Yeah, I believe if you press both the plus and the minus at the same time, it takes you into the menu. Yeah. So then you can go in here and change, change these type of settings. Like this is echo. Um, and I think we can change it to yes or no. And here's the, I believe the setting for changing it to kilometers but not 100 percent certain on that it does come with a little sheet oh here we go so this one does show you like miles per hour is one and i think if we change it to two it shows kilometers per hour so for our canadian and european friends um so yep and i believe if you hold it down it takes you back yeah so on the other side we have this is your throttle as you can see, I just barely touched it and it decided it was going to try and go. Um, so, careful using that. 
um, right here as you're shifting. It's kind of like any other. I have a regular sort of mountain bike and it, the gears shift the same way. You want to do one gear at a time so you don't break anything or strip anything out. But I think you can see the numbers right there in the middle. You got your plus, your minus. So, you know, if you're shifting up in gears, you're going to, you know, go towards the front of the bike. If you want to shift down in gears, bring it toward the back of the bike. So, I definitely really like this bike. Um, She's already claimed it. She says it's going to be hers. <laughs> which means I had to order a new one. I ordered this one for me. She's decided this is hers now and I have to get a different one. Um, I got to pick the color, so, you know. That was my first mistake. It does come in, what other colors? Black, white, blue. There's a yellow, I believe. Yeah, um, so Sandra's does a pretty good job of keeping the colors kind of fresh. and Maybe they orange. Alternate them, so bending in what, they have different runs it looks like, and so when you order it from them, they, uh, they have certain ones available at the time. Uh, it doesn't look like they do a whole lot of warehousing of old old models though, so once they're gone, those colors are gone and they bring in new models that they manufacture and paint might all that stuff. Of, or might, be kind of, might be kind of fun to get maybe something that's iridescent, changes color in the sun. I don't know, they're all, they're all a matte, um, which I like because a lot of times you see that high gloss and I'm not a fan of that, so I like the matte better. Um, Definitely, uh, definitely worth, I think, the cost, uh, especially if you, like I said before, if you're just getting into biking, I don't know if I said that in this video. Or you're if severely you're just overweight biking, like myself um, and you want to keep up with your children, not slow them down. This is a, a, this is great, a good option. Yeah, it's great because you, still, you can still get a workout in, um, but you're not going to die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the hills, the hills are a whole different story with this, so... Uh, you'll figure out very quickly that when you're going down a hill, uh, you're getting a good momentum as you normally would. But as you start going up the hill, you change the speed assist to go from maybe two to five. So that way, every time you make a pedal, it's actually giving you a lot more energy so that you can make up those hills without only breaking a small sweat as opposed to falling on the side of the road and dying, rolling around and cars running over you. So, and it difference. does max out at 20 miles per hour. It won't let you go. Which is, the, which is the road limit for the U.S. Um, um, for the phone thing, um, I think it was 12, 1250. Um, and uh, if you're, like I said, if you're a little overweight and intimidating to ride a bike and you want to go out and you want to start losing some weight, but which is kind of what I'm planning on doing, um, then you, uh, it's a good option. Um, of course, the problem is we also bought kids e-bikes, so now they only have a single gauge, so we can go faster than them. But they'll turn it on for hills, so we'll see how that works out. Should be interesting to see how the how the family uh, views that when we get one for everyone. Yeah, can't wait. So, so this is uh, Greg with Random Ship Reviews. Stacy. And we're uh, we couldn't be happier with uh, with the Saunders uh, Bold XL. Well worth the, the money spent and. Bold X. Fold X, yeah. Not XL. Yeah, it's Fold X. I was thinking <laughs> myself about XL. If you, uh, if you found this video helpful, uh, please press that like button. Consider subscribing. We're going to try to cover a bunch of different e-bikes. Different. Um, I think we have, we're going to do a review on this, uh, this foam mount. Um, I think we also have a couple other items that we have in the queue to do reviews on. I forget what they are, but um, we have another e-bike coming too because now Stacy stole this one for me. So now I need to get a different one. So I want to get a different kind so we can do a review on that one as well. Um, so that one uh, I'll be looking forward to here in the next next week or so. so. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, we're always happy to respond to questions. And if you guys got an e-bike, let us know below in the comments which one which one you got. Um, or if you have a Saunders, let us know how you like it. Um, and they do have a new one coming out, the, the Fold S which looks really interesting. It's got some of the more advanced features on it. It's actually a lower price tag, um, but it's a little bit heavier, so. But it doesn't have the wide tires like these, so. That's why we went to full decks, so. Thanks a lot, and as always. Stay classy. Here's a quick unboxing and assembly of the Saunders Fold X.